Hi, my name is Andy. I'm a web developer for Memorial Printers Ireland. Today I'm going to show you how to order memorial cards through our online personalization system. So first of all, you have to browser design. You can hit start now button here or just use the link up on the top. And now you see the list of the available designs, right? So you can select the design. Just one word here. Uh, most of the cards have alternative backgrounds that can be chosen later in the process. So what you're selecting here is really a layout uh, or style rather than the, the look of the finished product. So you have more control over, 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 over the look and it doesn't have to have this particular background. Also the headings can be changed and so on. So you have a lot of control. So let's say, okay, you, you need, you, you like this particular style on this page you can see the other pages that are in this in this uh, memorial card inside left inside right and the back let's say you're okay with that you like this style obviously all the all the verses and other information can be changed so this is not um, going to be like that you can choose what kind of verse um, is there right now you just select the quantity you require and hit add to cart and personalize. Okay, on this page, you see your memorial card broken up into separate pages, page one, page two, page three, page four, and you can uh, edit them one by one. So you can see when I roll over these fields, uh, a green marker appears on the, uh, on the card on the right. This is just a hint for you what area or what item you're editing, so you know what you're doing and you know what um, item is affected by your edits. Let's start with the first, alternative backgrounds. This card has three alternative backgrounds, so you can pick one of them. Let's say you like this one, you just hit use this, get stored in here so you know what you've chosen. Now, photo upload, you just hit upload or change image. And again, if you if you see uh, this optional or there is no word required after that, it is up to you. You can just leave it blank, right? Or you can upload the photo. So we're going to upload the photo here. In this window, you just hit choose file. And this may vary from the operating system to operating system or on different devices it might look different. But the general idea is that you just select uh, a photograph from your computer. So you just select it, hit open and then you hit upload. On standard internet connection, this upload process could take one or two minutes. So be, be patient. At some stage, this kind of window will, will appear. And here you can crop your photograph, meaning you can select a portion of the photo that's going to be used on the finished card. You can drag the, drag the corners of the selection or drag the whole selection just to select the portion that you want to use. Once you're happy with that, you hit crop and save image and the image gets gets stored here and now uh, page head uh, card heading uh, as you can see you have show suggestion link here if you click that you can see all the typical uh, headings that are used you can use them you can leave this field blank it's not required it's all up to you name and surname you just type name and surname and you're done with that page, right? Next page, page two, there's a little icon showing you what page you are on, so you know, okay, you're on in, the inside left. First item, frame style. Select or change. Here you can see the available frame styles. Let's say you want to use this one. So you just click use this, and this frame appears in here. Now, another photograph. Again, upload and change. Choose file. I'm just uploading the same photograph. You can upload uh, some different photograph. It's all up to you. You can use the same and and um, crop it different way. It's all up to you. Crop and save. Name and surname again. As you, and you can see where this um, gonna go by looking at the green marker on on the right. Okay. Address, date of death, age. All these lines can be filled up with, with, with your own uh, information. You can, again, fill some only some of it or all of it or add something from yourself. You'll see what area is affected now. 
I leave it the way it is. Small verse bottom, not all cards have this, but you can sometimes choose a small element on the bottom of the page too. I just go with this rest in peace here. Okay, so that's page two done. Page three, you have only a verse and a frame style, so we just go select a verse. And one more thing, if you need a verse or some other text uh, that we do not have here, you just select this item here, just hit use this, and enter your text or verse at the checkout. There was gonna be a um, there's gonna be a field that allows to do that. If we get that, we're gonna send you a proof just to make sure and that uh, you're we're printing exactly what you want. So we're gonna make a modification and email you uh, a proof so you can see how the finished product is gonna look like. Otherwise, you can just um, select a verse, use this. Let's get start here. Frame style. We're gonna go for the just plain, plain frame. And the last page, same story, just select the verse uh, and select the frame style. So I'm just selecting the frame here. Now, once you're happy with all that, with your edits, uh, you just use this preview or card button and your preview gets generated now. It should take five to 10 seconds. And once it sits done, you're gonna see um, kind of booklet style display that will um, allow you to flip the pages. As you can see, when I when I enter the area of the card, a little hint with the page number appears. It's not gonna get printed, it's just to show what page you are on, right? So that's the front, your photograph you've uploaded. Now that's the inside with the verse and the frames you've chosen and other elements. And the back, again, with the with the poem and, and, and the frame, right? Let's say you want to change something. You want to change, say, uh, this verse to another one. You just hit make changes here on the bottom. Scroll down to the page you want to edit. And here go and select a verse and just basically select a different verse. Once you're happy with that, hit preview again. Another preview gets generated. And you can see your card with your with your with your edits you've done. Okay, let's say you're happy with that and you want to proceed with your order. Everything is okay. And you just hit approve and checkout. There is a little warning here asking you to make sure that there are no misspellings. All the text is and data is accurate and, and, and all the rest of it because uh, obviously what's what what you approve here is gonna go to print. So just take your time. Flip, flip, flip through the pages and make sure everything is in order. Once you're satisfied that everything is okay, hit all good approved and checkout. And that takes you to the checkout page. Here you can see this special field where you can enter the, um, the custom custom text if you select it to, to, to have a custom text instead of our own uh, verses. Fill up your data, country, name, and so on, email address, phone, uh, and again, if you enter anything here, any suggestions or any any, any requirements that um, makes us to change the card, you will receive an email with your final proof before we before we print, because obviously we might want to make sure that you're getting exactly what you want. So once you fill that, you can just scroll down. You can confirm your tot order total. Uh, there is a free delivery on, on all orders to Ireland. So once you're happy with that, you just hit proceed to PayPal and you can check out using PayPal or credit card. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have a PayPal account in order to pay. Credit card is sufficient. And once you, once you, once you check out, you, know, you will receive an email confirming your order. And if you made any modifications, you will, you will receive an email with, with your final proof. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Bye.